Hello everyone, today I would like to demonstrate what has been done in Cinefix Studio towards the bone implementation. Here we have an approximate roadmap where you can see some things already done, some still have to be done and uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the items one by one. First is uh, this uh, the, this change is about um, the way how the groups are transformed. For a group uh, we don't have a zoom or um, position parameters anymore. We just have a single transformation parameter, uh, which could be expanded into composite. And here we have offset, we have uh, angle and scale. So this is it. And uh, the next uh, is a transformation widget added to groups. Uh, so we don't need to change uh, values in transformation parameters. We just can manipulate uh, the group using the handles. So we can move it, we can rotate it. Uh, we can scale it uh, by x axis, by y axis, and both axes with this handle. This handle should be placed at uh, a different place, but uh, it's a thing to do in the future. Um, okay. Ah, we also can mirror. the object by x or y axis or also both axis uh, like this okay uh, next uh, you can use the mouse to shift the uh, origin of transformation by holding the spacebar. If you hold the spacebar, then uh, you can move the origin of transformation. Let me illustrate this with uh, a pure untransformed group. Something like this. So we have a transformation widget and uh, holding space will move the origin. And now we can manipulate it as we like. Uh, now I would like to explain why all this stuff about uh, group transformation uh, have been done. Uh, this have been done to allow linking the groups to the bones uh, to allow easily create a cutout style animation uh, with bones. So let's uh, see how this works. Uh, at the moment uh, we have uh, linking group uh, to the bone implemented and it is uh, done by using the convert type. But first let's add uh, a skeleton. Let's choose layer, a new layer, other, skeleton. So we have a skeleton layer with just uh, 
one bone which we can rotate or scale and uh, let's add a few more bones uh, right click uh, insert and uh, one more obviously in the future in the future we have to uh, make a special tool to create a skeletons but uh, at the moment uh, this is done like this and uh, now let's create a group to link to our skeleton uh, like this okay so we have a group and uh, uh, when we have created a skeleton we have uh, three bones each bone have a particular name this is bone 3, this is bone 2 and this is bone 1 let's try to link our group to the bone 2 so we go to the transformation parameter and convert it into bone link uh, in the future we plan to implement uh, pardon we plan to implement uh, a linking group to the bone using the mouse but uh, it is not done yet so we have to use the convert type manually so let's choose a group uh, group uh, 2 Oh, bo let's choose a bone, bone 2, and uh, you can see the group is linked to the bone. We can uh, change it or rotate or scale, etc. Also, we can relink this group to another bone let's choose bone 3 so it is now link it to the bone 3 so this is what we have uh, implemented at uh, the current moment uh, we still have a lot of things to do uh, but uh, I hope you like the first results just demonstrated here.